Uh, can't really see. But we are just maybe 10 minutes out of camp. Um, we just got to hang a right down here. We just stopped at the um, this new bridge here, overtaking the old one. The old one looks like it's in pretty bad shape, but it was really nice to come back and have a quick look. A little bit of a squiz. Um, yeah, 10 minutes from camp. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Um, hang in there, get the drone up, get some mad footage, and I'll let you have a look around this place. Welcome back everybody. Today is the day before we leave. So I actually do have to pack today. I've got the swags in the tent. And if we so choose, I've already got the rooftop tent packed. Um, there's nothing in the trailer so we can throw some extra goodies in there. I've got the kayak that's got to go on the roof and the fishing rods still got to go in. Stuart's crossing, here we come. Uh, we got the dog platform just here, um, taking both the pups again. I've got a little bit of storage under here for all my camera gear. The only thing I'm going to have to really figure out what I'm going to do is find out where I'm going to put all our luggage. So that's not that important. But getting some overnight clothes, maybe just some swimmers, some towels. That's probably about it. Can't wait to leave. I reckon that's at maximum capacity. Uh, yeah. All right, I've just come to the conclusion yeah. that while this setup here yeah. is gonna be good for solo trips, just the one swag, maybe the swag bed, it's not gonna be any good for the family trips. So I am going to unpack that onto the roof racks next to the kayak and we're gonna get a big tub to throw all our dry clothes in and stuff. I think that's the best way. Traveling uh, Morden National Park the whole way is burnt, it's really devastating but there is signs of life, trees are coming back Hope our camp doesn't look like this.
So we've had a fabulous day down here at Stewart's Crossing. Um, pretty popular place. We are only half an hour out of Braidwood. Uh, I think it's 24 k's from the turnoff to Braidwood. So you've got plenty of supplies down that way. Uh, it's a little bit further going the other way to the pub, but this place is definitely worth checking out. Good family atmosphere. We've just had the police come down, doing a little check before they sign off for the day and um, cooking up some dinner and getting ready for bed. We was gonna do a bit of time lapse yeah, today, but it. um, time's just getting a little bit away from me. I'll see what the stars are like. On, yeah, I'll see what the stars are like tonight but I've definitely missed the sunset, so, oh well, it's still nice here. We've had the pup on the lead all day and the dog whisperer here just made a poo. <laughs>